Personal Independence Payment, or PIP, is a vital lifeline for many disabled individuals in the UK. It provides financial support to help manage the extra costs associated with living with a long-term health condition or disability. This benefit isn't means-tested, meaning eligibility isn't determined by income or savings, but rather by the impact of an individual's condition on their daily life. From covering transportation costs to adapting homes for accessibility, PIP plays a crucial role in fostering independence. The assessment process for PIP involves evaluating an individual's ability to perform everyday tasks and participate in society. Points are awarded based on the level of difficulty experienced in completing these tasks and the total number of points determines the level of support received. For many disabled individuals, navigating the complexities of the PIP assessment process can be daunting and stressful. The process often requires extensive documentation, medical evidence and face-to-face -face assessments, which can be particularly challenging for those experiencing fluctuating or invisible disabilities. Delays in processing applications and appeals can further exacerbate the difficulties faced by claimants, leaving them in a precarious financial position. As the government continues to reform the PIP assessment process, it's vital that these changes prioritise the needs and experiences of disabled individuals. The current PIP assessment process has been plagued by numerous issues, causing significant stress and hardship for many claimants. Long waiting times for assessments and decisions are a common complaint leaving individuals in financial limbo. The assessment process itself has also been criticised for its lack of consistency and transparency, with concerns raised about the expertise and training of assessors. The forms are lengthy and require detailed information about an individual's condition and its impact on their daily life. Gathering the necessary medical evidence and supporting documentation can be a time-consuming and arduous task. These challenges have resulted in a high number of appeals against PIP decisions. The appeals process itself can be lengthy and complex, adding further delays and stress for claimants. Delays in receiving PIP can lead to financial difficulties, making it harder to afford essential living expenses this can have a knock-on effect on mental and physical health, exacerbating existing conditions. The current system's shortcomings have a significant impact on the lives of disabled individuals. The Department for Work and Pensions, or DWP, has acknowledged the need for change in the PIP assessment process. The DWP aims to streamline the process, reduce waiting times, and improve the accuracy of assessment. They argue that the current system is too complex and bureaucratic, leading to unnecessary delays and frustration for claimants. One of the key drivers behind the reform is the desire to reduce the number of appeals against PIPI decisions. The DWP believes that by improving the accuracy of initial assessments, they can minimize the need for appeals. The DWP also hopes to improve the consistency of assessments, ensuring that decisions are based on objective criteria. Another key rationale for reform is the need to adapt to the changing needs of the disabled population. The DWP recognises that the number of people claiming PIP has increased significantly in recent years. The reforms are intended to create a more sustainable system that can cope with the increasing demand for support. The DWP also aims to improve communication with claimants, providing clearer information about the assessment process and their rights. The DWP is introducing several changes to streamline the PIP assessment process. One significant change involves greater reliance on medical evidence provided by claimants' healthcare professionals. 
This aims to reduce the need for face-to-face -face assessments, which can be stressful and challenging for many individuals. By prioritising existing medical records and expert opinions, the DWP hopes to make the process more efficient. Another key change involves simplifying the application form and guidance notes, making them easier to understand and complete. Clearer and more concise language will help ensure that claimants can provide the necessary information accurately. The DWP is also investing in new technology to improve the efficiency of the assessment process. This includes developing online portals for submitting applications and tracking progress. Digitalization of the process will reduce reliance on paper-based systems, which can be slow and prone to errors. Furthermore, the DWP is committed to providing more training and support to assessors, ensuring they have the necessary skills and knowledge to make accurate and consistent decisions. The DWP has launched a significant recruitment drive to increase the number of case managers handling PIP claims. This is a crucial step in addressing the current backlog of cases and reducing waiting times for assessments. By increasing capacity within the system, the DWP aims to ensure that claims are processed more quickly and efficiently. The recruitment drive is targeting individuals with relevant experience in healthcare, social work and disability support. The increased staffing levels will allow for a more personalised approach to assessments. This will lead to more accurate and informed decisions reducing the likelihood of errors and appeals. The DWP is also investing in training and development for new case managers. This includes training on disability awareness, communication skills and the legal framework surrounding PIP. The DWP is committed to recruiting individuals who are passionate about supporting disabled people. By building a diverse and skilled workforce, the DWP aims to improve the overall quality of the PIP assessment process. The changes to the PIP assessment process will have a significant impact on claimants. The streamlined process, with its emphasis on existing medical evidence, could reduce the stress and anxiety associated with face-to-face -face assessments. Shorter waiting times for decisions will provide greater financial security and peace of mind. The simplified application process and clearer guidance notes will make it easier for individuals to navigate the system. However, there are also concerns about the potential impact of these changes. Some disability rights advocates worry that relying solely on medical evidence may not fully capture the lived experience of disability. They argue that face-to-face -face assessments can provide valuable insights into an individual's functional limitations. The increased use of technology in the assessment process could also create barriers for some claimants. It is essential that the DWP ensures that the new system is accessible to everyone. Providing alternative methods for submitting applications and communicating with the DWP will be crucial in ensuring that no one is excluded from the system. The DWP has conducted trials of the new PIP assessment process, gathering feedback from claimants and healthcare professionals. Initial feedback suggests that the streamlined process with its focus on existing medical evidence has been well received by many claimants. Reduced waiting times and less stressful assessments have been highlighted as positive outcomes of the trials. However, concerns have also been raised about the potential for overlooking important information if face-to-face -face assessments are completely eliminated. Expert opinions on the changes are varied. Some disability rights organisations welcome the move towards a more streamlined and efficient process. Other experts express caution, emphasising the importance of ensuring that the new system does not disadvantage certain groups of claimants. 
Healthcare professionals involved in the trials have generally supported the increased reliance on medical evidence. However, they also stress the importance of clear communication 